Okay, here are some quick Mac tips. All right, when you're typing in some applications, you can press escape and it will pull up a list of words to complete the word you are typing. This works in text edit and pages. It does not work in mail. All right, image capture is command shift three. That takes a screenshot of your entire screen or if you have multiple monitors of each of your monitors, it will name them like screenshot one or screenshot two, etc. Holding down command shift four gives you this selection tool so you can select the exact area you want to capture. Command shift four and then you press the space bar. You can take a picture of just a particular screen. That one is really useful. Okay. You may know that Command Tab lets you cycle through applications. And if you keep holding down Command, press Tab, you can see the applications and you can select with your mouse. Wing. Or just like that. You can also go backwards in your selection with the tilde, the button above the tab key. To select a block of text, click the start position, and you can do this in text you are editing or in other types of text, like a mail message. You click at the beginning or select the beginning word, hold down shift and click anywhere at the end or up. So you know, an arrow key takes you to the side, right? Option arrow key takes you to the side word by word. And command arrow key takes you, of course, all the way down, all the way up. So, but if you hold down shift arrow key, it selects by character. Option shift arrow key selects by word or line. And command shift arrow key selects everything below the cursor or selection. And up arrow, everything above. Command shift left arrow, everything to the left, right, everything to the right. Okay, in Safari or Firefox or whatever, you can command click a link and that opens it in a new tab or a new window depending on your settings. But if you shift command click it, it opens a new tab and takes you straight to it. Again, this may be different depending on your tab and window settings. Okay, let's say we have a bunch of windows open for text edit. This is the minimize button and if you hold down option while clicking it, it will minimize all windows in that application. Then you can bring them up one by one or if you option click any of the windows, it brings them all back up. So we can now close those. Next, so I have text edit in the front and let's hold down option and click on the hit list. That hides text edit and brings the hit list to the front. So we go back to text edit, hides that, hides it. So that's useful for jumping around, especially when you have a smaller screen. Windows are covering each other. All right, now for the complicated part. If you have a block of text with a regular spacing like this, or if you have a string of words you want to capitalize or uncapitalize, you can use a couple tricks. First, there are services you can enable, and services are found. The services we want are in your system preferences, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts. And you go down to services, scroll down, and in this case we want to look at the text services, check reformat. I also like remove multiple spaces sometimes, but this is a really good one. Then over here, you select the text, control click or right click, services, reformat. And you may not have this particular service. Some services are installed. You can find them anywhere on the web for free, usually. Or you can create them yourself, but I'll get to that in a minute. The other one for the capitalization is actually a transformation. So you can select make lowercase 
Capitalize, this is my favorite, when you need to capitalize a bunch of words. Make uppercase. Great. So as I said, you can create your own services. And you do that using Automator. You open Automator and you select the service template. Choose. And the one I want to create, I have these pictures here. They are pictures from Astronomy Picture of the Day. And I want to add some text to the file name. All right, so we want to receive selected text in Finder. Mm. Files or folders, maybe. And then what we want to do is rename. We don't want a copy. We want to add the text before the name. We want to add a pod. Okay. I think that's how I did it. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to save it. Save the service as rename. I'm going to hold down option and click 8, and that gives me the little dot. And then I can go add a pod. Save. And your services are stored in your home folder, library, services. You can see I have these other ones. So what I can do now is go over here. I'm going to select these guys. Right click, go down to services, and select rename at a pod. And there it did it. Now what I actually keep here is, I'm going to delete that one. I have this add text name to file name, add text to file name, and I just keep this, and anytime I want to do it, I come in here and I change it. Save it, come over here, add text to file name, ping, and then I can come back and change it and close it. I also have this other one where I replace the text in the file name. So I open it up and I go space and I'm going to place it with nothing. Let's see if that works. There we go. Of course, if there was space anywhere in the names, I just removed that too, but back to the apod. Then I can come and move this back to that and quit. And again, your services are found in your library folder. Uh, Automator can be used to do a bunch of different types of services. Rename, it can, you can create a workflow to, let me show you. Actually, I'll just open this one. This is one I created where it you select the text file. It's an inventory report I've downloaded. And I rename it to inventory report. Then I have it add the current date in my chosen format. Then I have it move to a certain folder. So all I have to do is right click it, select the service, and it renames it, adds the date, and moves it to the folder. I don't have to deal with it. And I do that every week, so it's pretty useful. And you can disable the ones you create in your keyboard shortcuts services area. This is actually a file and folder service here. So I hope you find those useful.